My name is uh, Phil Cattell. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn & Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we're having such a fantastic day, having the opportunity to go around Falcon Country, talking to these principals, seeing what's new in these buildings and what's happening, what to expect throughout this year. And we've got Dr. Jamie Lawhorn with us here, the principal of East Orange Middle School. How are you, sir? Doing great. How are you doing, Ms. Brock? Doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Here that, we go again. I know. It's my favorite time of year. I know. Now, how long have you been at this? How long have you been a principal? I, I've been a principal. This is my, my sixth year as a principal and my fifth year as the principal at East Lawrence Middle School. Does it get any easier? Uh, well, I get a little <laughs> more confident. I don't know if it's any easier, but, but I guess after experience and repetition, you get a little more confident about what you're doing. So, I mean, I've kind of got, I've kind of got that going on. I don't know if it's, hopefully it's not false confidence. <laughs> it's we'll see. not, it's not. <laughs> Listen, Dr. Lohorn, I mean, you guys have a lot of moving pieces. I mean, we can walk down these halls and we see the teachers are busy getting their yes, rooms ready. And we see, you know, everyone, the staff members working, putting, right. pitching in together. Yeah. You know, talk to us about the changes that are taking place with East Orange Middle School. Uh, so yeah, the high school moved out this year. Mm -hmm. um, they're moving into their new building up on the hill and we're real excited for them. Uh, right. Every one of the kids that are going up there was a student here at East Norris Middle School while I was the principal. So oh, I'm wow. excited for all of them. Okay. I know that they got a brand new building and we're excited about them moving into that building and I hope they're excited about it. Um, so, but with that, you know, we've had a little logistics for ourselves. We had to move our front office from where it used to be across right. from the cafeteria to the front door because somebody needs to manage the front door. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've, we've had opportunity to kind of go through and get some of the some some furniture from East Lawrence High School, some mm -hmm. of the stuff they were able to leave behind. And so we, we've kind of been doing that all summer. Sure. Uh, even in our media center, we had to, uh, we, we lost half the books. You did. We lost half the books. Look so, how spacious it is. So we got a lot more space now. We've mm -hmm. moved out some of the bookshelves. So we've been, we've been working hard all summer to try and, uh, you know, make everything nice and neat and for sure, ready for school. For sure. And you all are going to stay in your in place until next year. Is that our understanding? Uh, yes, ma'am. That's the plan is for us mm -hmm. uh, currently is for us to stay uh, in our building for a year and then that'll give the the uh, district an opportunity to kind of renovate and revitalize that old high school before we move into it. Very good. Now listen, you've got a lot of new people coming in. Yes, ma'am. So <laughs> with the, like, uh, like you and I were talking before the, the telecast here, right. <laughs> uh, uh, with the high school leaving, um, some, some positions that we shared we no longer share, mm -hmm. uh, had some transfers. Um, had some retirement, so we got 21 new 21 oh, wow. new staff members. Talk to us about it. We want, you, yes, absolutely. All right, Tell so so I have Mr. Peyton Baggett. Mr. Peyton Baggett's coming to us uh, from college, and he's actually going to be our new technology teacher. Mm -hmm. He's replacing a teacher of ours that transferred to West Lawrence Middle. Uh, I have Miss Jan Bird. Miss Jan Bird is coming. She's going to work in our GAA room with Miss mm -hmm. Callie Higgs. I have Mr. Carson. We have a new art program, so right. he's the first time. It's the first time we've had art at East Lawrence Middle School for about the last six years, five mm -hmm, or six years. Mm -hmm. So he's coming to us to do that. Oh, Mr. Jordan Crabb is coming to us to teach English uh, in seventh grade. Mr. Tony Dodge, new football coach. Mm -hmm, We're excited mm -hmm. about having him with us. From California. From California, <laughs> all the way, that's right. And we have Miss Felicia Harris. Mm -hmm. We're excited about her. She's gonna be a special education teacher for us in sixth grade. Uh, Mr. Michael Howard, he had been with me before when I was at the high school. Right. And so he's kind of transferred to us. He's gonna be a special education teacher okay. in seventh and eighth grade. Uh, Miss Crystal Kersey, Miss Leanne Lewis, and uh, Miss Kylie Wynn. They're uh, some speech language uh, mm -hmm. interpreters, uh, uh, deaf, deaf teachers. Right. So right. we're excited about getting them. Uh, Miss Caitlin McLeod is, re is replacing our eighth grade uh, Georgia history teacher. Mm -hmm. So we got, mm -hmm. we got her. Miss Debbie Morris is back with Lawrence County. We're excited yep. to have her mm -hmm. back. She's going to be our interventionist. Um, Mr. Leon Pittman, new custodian. We got mm -hmm. a new custodian. He's mm -hmm. been working hard painting, cutting grass. Well, he, he's, he's oh, a right. jack of all trades. Miss mm -hmm. um, Kristen Robinson is back with Lawrence County also. Right, 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 she right. had been with the primary and the elementary before. She's coming back to teach uh, special education for us. Mr. Mike Sarton was a transfer we got from the alternative school. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jaron Scott is teaching eighth grade math and science for us. Miss Lauren Woods Scrivener is mm -hmm. coming to us. She's teaching um, 
she's going to be teaching, or actually not teach, teaching anything. She's going to be our media specialist. Okay. Our, and, and over our media program. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Coach Joel Watson is with us, and we're actually going to loan him out to the high school to teach, teach some PE for us okay. up there uh, okay. part-time. Miss Nicole White is teaching seventh grade ELA for us in social studies. Miss mm -hmm. Cindy Woods is coming to be our gifted coordinator and Title I coordinator. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. That's the end of the list, Pat. Wow. It's lots, right? That's a lot. I hope I didn't leave anybody off. I hope you didn't either. Check your list I, twice. I, I, <laughs> well, I think Santa had to check his twice. I think we're good. I think I got them all. I think I got them all. But <laughs> I'm on if, I, if you're watching this telecast, one of my new people, and I missed you, I apologize. That was not on purpose. Not on purpose. Yeah. And so for you, with your military background, how do you rally your troops together, you know, to just kind of motivate them to just get ready for this new year and, <laughs> and, and do what's necessary to get these kids themselves prepared? Yeah, so when, uh, when I was a teacher, um, I try to, you know, I try to do everything through that prism. Like, what, what did I want when I was a teacher? What was, what was more, most beneficial for mm -hmm, me? Mm -hmm. And I really just wanted time. So I try to give them as much time as possible. Oh. I, I try to limit my meetings and try to limit, you know, the stuff they have to do uh, so they can have time to work in their classroom and mm -hmm. plan quality lessons for, for, sure. for the first day of school. And so are there any new things that we should expect uh, coming out of East Florence Middle School this year? A couple of things. In the past, we had been letting students uh, we had been letting students use cell phones during lunch and during mm -hmm. break. Mm -hmm. We are suspending that. We're okay. going to suspend that. Uh, we were doing it for COVID because kids had to sit so far from each other. They right. couldn't talk to their friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it, it kind of got to be a problem a little bit. So we're, we're, yeah. we're not going we're going you can have cell phones at school. You just can't use them. Uh, you know, and I think we're going to try and work, it, work, work that in our PBIS system mm -hmm. uh, to give them an opportunity to use them. But, but other than that, no cell phones. For so sure. That's new. That's new. And you know what, you know, when you're talking about a middle school, mo mm -hmm. middle schoolers are really a peculiar kind of age. Isn't yeah, well, <laughs> I tell every, everyone that sixth grade is, uh, is, is kind of like fifth grade, just a little mm -hmm. older. Eighth grade, they're really kind of like high school kids, just a little younger. And seventh mm -hmm. grade, they're just different. Yeah. Seventh grade, they're different. They're just different. Yeah. And so for you, sir, now, um, with this new year starting and, and you know, we had, we had to make a lot of adjustments when COVID first started and things like that. Are there any things, any systems you're going to still keep in place? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to, according to Mr. Garnto, we're going to treat COVID like the flu to start the school year, mm -hmm. right? Um, but we're going to continue to to pass out wipes in our classes yeah. as students come in so we can wipe down surfaces. We're going to continue to try and use some of the things we learned from COVID to try and keep us all healthy. You know, uh, mm -hmm. people uh, watching their space, not getting into people's faces. Uh, uh, like I said, wiping down surfaces. We still are going to spray as we need to right. in the afternoons and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we have some mitigation stuff we're gonna do to try and and that hopefully we learn from COVID to help us with other things, flu, yeah. cold, whatever else. Absolutely. And two, just to kind of help the parents, because now that you've moved your offices up to the front, what can they expect when they come to this building? So. Uh, just just like before, they'll come through those main two front doors when they come come in. But instead of being greeted by Miss Evans and the high school staff, mm -hmm. they'll be greeted by Miss Spivey and Miss Fosky and our staff. Okay. So our staff will be up there to greet them, and they they won't have to walk you know through the school to get yeah. to our office. It'll, it should hopefully be easier for I them. I hope so. So yeah. anything else you want to make sure that you want to let the people of Dublin Lawrence County know, or any students when we're getting ready for this new year to start? Uh, open house on Friday. Mm -hmm. Open house on Friday. So mm -hmm. we'll be here all day on Friday. I think we're going to break for lunch from 11:30 to 1. But other than that, you guys come on uh, for open house. Uh, our teachers will be ready. They're they're already almost ready now. They they're excited to see everyone, for sure. see the kids. Well, thank you, Dr. Lawhorn. It's always a pleasure chatting with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing a great job here, and we we love the leadership style that you have, and we just appreciate all that you do as you pour into these kids and to your staff. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Ms. All Brown. right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Jamie Lawhorn, the principal here at East Lawrence Middle School. The dog days of summer are here and Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has a hot deal for you. Now's the time to buy the quality pre-owned car, truck, or SUV you've been waiting on. Come see TJ, Trey, Allen, or Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales and save during the dog days of summer. Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet.